Here's a quick history of NASA. While NASA is the United States of America's space agency, its formation started on international soil. NASA stands for the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, and they're responsible for many of the missions into deep space and credited with the first manned mission to the moon. To start from the beginning though, we actually need to start in Budapest in the 1880s at the home of Theodore von Karman. Being a math prodigy, von Karman was led into engineering by his father, and he eventually directed an aeronautical institute in Germany. However, in 1930, when Hitler came to power, von Karman, being Jewish, moved to the California Institute of Technology in Pasadena to lead an aeronautical laboratory. In 1936, Theodore von Karman was visited by two men, John Parsons and Edward Foreman, seeking his help in building rockets. Joined by students Frank Molina, Apollo Milton Olin Smith, and Sen Su Shen, the Suicide Squad, as they were known, sparked an unintended explosion on campus, and the school moved their testing to Arroyo Seco, a dry canyon wash at the foot of the San Gabriel Mountains near Pasadena. This testing eventually grabbed the attention of the military, contracting them for $11,000 in just two years. After helping the military to develop jet-assisted takeoff for aircraft, the new Guggenheim Laboratory began working towards a response to the Germans' V-2 rocket, and they did this under the name Jet Propulsion Laboratory, managed by the Army. The next German to have a huge part in the growth of the American space program is Werner von Braun. Von Braun was born in 1912 in Germany and was inspired and fascinated by space travel after reading Hermann Oberth's The Rocket to Interplanetary Space as a teenager. Testing liquid-fueled rockets in his free time, he studied mechanical engineering and physics in Berlin, and his work with rockets attracted the attention of, you guessed it, the German army. From there, his work continued to impress, and Nazi leadership agreed to fund his research so long as he designed long-range ballistic missiles, eventually known as V-2 rockets, to shift the tide of the war. This, however, was not von Braun's dream. Still inspired from his youth, and for the original reason he went into rocketry, space exploration was still his first priority. Unfortunately though, after overhearing von Braun talk about this with his colleagues, he was arrested for two weeks because of treason by the Gestapo, or Nazi secret police. After this, von Braun knew that he had to escape and conduct his research elsewhere. So after Adolf Hitler had died, von Braun and his team of 400 made plans to surrender to the Americans. Initially skeptical to let the Nazi scientists into their ranks, they eventually agreed and took over 300 train car loads of spare V2 rocket parts with them. Now finally settled and trusted in America to conduct his own research, von Braun and his team settled in Huntsville, Alabama. His assignment was to lead the American ballistic missile program, but was permitted to pursue his dreams of sending spacecraft into orbit. In fact, after the Russians launched Sputnik, the first ever man-made satellite to orbit the Earth in 1957, von Braun and his team were not far behind with Explorer 1 in January of 1958. NASA itself, however, has its roots in America. On March 3rd, 1915, the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics, or NACA, was a U.S. federal agency found to undertake, promote, and institutionalize aeronautical research. This was a committee formed during World War I, modeled on similar national agencies across Europe. However, after World War II, President Eisenhower disestablished NACA and established NASA in October of 1958 to command all civilian and peaceful space science missions, separating it from the military. With this, JPL was also transferred from the Army to NASA, turning its attention to the actual scientific payloads rather than rockets, and quickly launching Mariner 2 to Venus, becoming the world's first spacecraft to encounter another planet. The launching then was left to von Braun. Eventually, NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center was built around Werner von Braun's headquarters in Huntsville, and he was named the first director. After that, he oversaw the construction of the Saturn launch vehicles, ones that would eventually take 27 US astronauts to the moon and 12 to the surface. Since then, NASA has sent spacecraft to the moon, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto, Kuiper Belt, comets, and asteroids. They've landed multiple times on Mars, and now they're headed for Jupiter's moon Europa. NASA's vision today? We reach for new heights and reveal the unknown for the benefit of humankind. I hope you enjoyed this brief history of NASA on Space But Messier. See you next time.